<laughs> it's the night before the 2017 Sydney Sevens. The final pre-game tradition of presenting the team jerseys allows for some external motivation on the eve of the tournament. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Say, Phil War, everybody, if you don't know him, but look at just a few career stats: 79 tests, only four tries. <laughs> no assists. I've got plenty. Of <laughs> but uh, Wallaby captain Waratahs Australian Sevens, two caps in 1999. John Hill's medal in 2003. And the reason I've chosen uh, Phil for it was, see the Waratahs sort of games there, but also the number of Wallaby caps, how many times he's played at the Sydney Football Stadium and how many times he has performed there. So he knows what it's like on that field, the ins and outs of it, okay, and, and what it's like to play for your country at home. While she asked me to come in and just have a chat, and I think... And you guys have performed on the big stage. Obviously, the Olympics um, was the pinnacle, and and there's so much expectation around. You know, how are you going to go at the Olympics? Your favourites? Do you go through? And uh, and obviously, you know, as as uh, history played out, you, you went through and uh, and won the gold medal. And the profile and and, and how much you've raised uh, rugby in Australia, not just for men but for for females as well. And a pathway to be an inclusive sport for everyone's been amazing. So uh, it's quite an honour for me to come here and, and present. To. I've played at this stadium so many times and, and I still, it's still one of my favourite grounds in the world. And, uh, and for you girls to get the opportunity to play on there numerous times over two days in front of uh, full house capacity is an amazing opportunity. And everyone will say, I oh, enjoy the moment, and then you sort of get to the end of the day and you sort of reflect and you go, well, I actually probably just put so much pressure on myself and, and, I, and it's all a bit of a blur. And I'm not sure whether that's a bit like the Olympics for you, but I think. As you get, I'm 37 now, I'm retired. As you get further and further along, retired from the game, and, and believe it or not, even though you think it's not going to happen to you, it is going to happen to you. You know, I remember 2003 Rugby World Cup and you get off the field, you're crying. You know, Johnny Wilkinson's kicked that goal. I've tried to let it go, but not quite. <laughs> um, and, but you, and, you think, and you think to yourself, that, you know, I'll, I'll get another crack at this. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to play in a World Cup final again, we'll win the World Cup. 2007, we go to Marseille, we lose in the quarter final. In the moment, you think, I'll get another crack. But the reality is, you might not get another crack. And uh, you know, when, I, when I look at big moments and the opportunities that you girls have, this is probably one of the biggest moments. So you've got to make sure when you're in the moment, embrace the moment, do as well as you possibly can and have no regrets. Now's a, a great time for, for all of you. Step up in Sydney, in Australia, um, in front of your home crowd and I think you'll, uh, you'll get the support that uh, everyone's already giving you.